Discussions around mental health have become more prevalent in the past couple of years, specifically for parents who have teenagers or preteens. Corwell Health is rolling out its Blue Envelope program to 500 schools across the state to address an increased need for a consistent and safe protocol. Newsday's Megan Bunchman spoke with health and school specialists to learn how this pilot program is going. Megan? Emily and Sue, Ottawa County Public Schools were the first to roll out Corwell Health's Blue Envelope program. That's a safe model a couple of years ago. Since then, 13 other counties have opted in, and more than 200 schools are now participating. Suicide is the, the second leading cause of death for our young people. With mental health taking more of a center stage in our daily conversations. Teen suicide uh, and uh, is on rise, and, uh, uh, and we absolutely have to tackle that. Doctors like Sabu Jain with Corwell Health are working to tackle addressing issues of anxiety, depression, and suicidal ideation before those symptoms turn into something life-threatening. That's a, a, a national challenge. We are seeing that all across the nation that the waiting list for uh, getting a specialist has uh, grown tremendously. Which is where the code word blue envelope comes in. It started out as a let's train all of our providers in the medical setting so that if we have a suicidal incident, we all have some common language and a consistent response around how do we address that in the medical field. A program that was initially launched pre-pandemic exclusively for hospital staff has now seen a success across schools in 14 Michigan counties. Last year there were about 1,000 blue envelope events. That means like where the kids express suicidality and most of them were actually handled within the school system not having to escalate any further. The premise of this program is that suicide prevention and awareness is everyone's responsibility, not just that of doctors, which is why the training module SAFE, staying with a student, accessing health, feeling validated, and eliminating lethal risk is taught to teachers and school staff members alike as a first line of defense for students' mental health. It's normalizing the word suicide and it's normalizing asking the question mm -hmm. and being direct. And so I I think we often skirt around it because it feels like a very intense word. But I think if we've learned anything from our training with Corwell, it's that asking those direct questions allows us to intervene early. For Hudsonville Public Schools, Student Services Coordinator Melissa Bernard says that the SAFE module has helped teachers address a handful of suicide disclosures from students in a safe and non-escalating manner. Early intervention is the key for these children. Saying that if mental health issues are not addressed like any other medical illnesses, it's going to progress to something that is not desirable. Now, the Blue Envelope training program is free to the schools and purely an opt-in model. Dr. Jane says that Corwell Health is set to train a total of 500 schools by the end of 2024. Sue.